everyone, welcome back to Matthew's channel. Today we are talking about China, application to China. So please, if any one of you haven't subscribed, please do so and don't forget to click on the notification bell that any new video, any, any new episode, you won't miss it. You'll be the first one to see it, okay? So let's dive in. Um, by the name of Shema Damas, a doctor to be. I'm pursuing medicine in China as MBBS, but you can also say it in full as Bachelor in Medicine and also Bachelor in Surgery. I'm um, random by nationality and I would love, I would love uh, that anyone who is following this video will find it helpful and blessed. Okay, so what do we know about China? How do you apply to China? By that question I would say applying to china is not that difficult you just get to an agency and they help you do it you just need to put your documents together just your your medical your school report sorry <laughs> your school report your passport just they're not it's not difficult not really difficult because since many universities just expect to have new new students foreigners to come in so you just get to any agency and they help you you can there are agencies here in china there are them in your countries i hope many of you know them so yeah it's not difficult to apply to china but the question is what happens next when you get to china that's what i want to talk about what happens next when you get to china the first thing you could know first is that chinese people don't really collaborate in english they don't really know english when we came here we thought english is like the worldwide language but then when you got here it was like wow there are people at the airport who don't really understand what you're saying it was just it was just hilarious but then don't be scared about that we have translators we have people to help around but just be sure that when you come to china you should be learning and prepared to learn chinese because there's no way you can survive this chinese country without knowing some chinese anyway though there are some universities that teach chinese so good you can also learn it on your on your behalf on your like yourself you can just do it it just all depends on how you love it how you really love it okay so i hope you when you come to china you'll be applying for something you love something you're passionate about because i don't th i think it's a waste of time sometimes when you do something you really don't love but i hope you will just apply and come to china but when you get here you just need to know that your chinese also need to be improved you need to be work to be to work on it and also make friends just make friends so about the 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 courses the courses are in english or in chinese you just choose which one you want to follow you want to pursue in like for me i study medicine in english but then i still have chinese courses during the semesters and i still have to pass some of the exams like when before me before i graduate i need to pass hsk four but then oh no no five sorry four is for students in first year yeah that it has changed recently but not many universities care about it. it's not all, all the universities some universities just pass hsk3 others pass four and others really don't pass anyone like they just study chinese during the during the semesters so it's not that big deal. okay so studying medicine in china is uh, is not really uh, we can't say it's difficult because <laughs> Maybe because I'm so passionate about it, I don't find it that much be difficult. But then you don't have enough practices since you don't when you don't know Chinese, so you need to work on that. And also, I hope this information will help someone. I hope it helps someone. So please don't forget to subscribe, to like, and to share this video to anyone who is interested to come in China. Just a simple introduction: to what China is, what to expect. Because there are many foreigners, so you just be feeling like it's home from, from home. It's just, it's not that bad. <laughs> it's not that bad because some people, when you come, you come far from your, you just go far from your parents. You'll be like, oh, I'm going away. But then you just come here and you find other foreigners, and it feels like home again. So I hope you get interested, and I hope you apply, and you come here, and we will be glad to meet you all. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helped someone. And don't forget to subscribe, to share it, to tell your friends, to tell their friends that they can get the help that they need. They can drop into the comments what they want to hear next. And please, I hope it just enlightens you. That's the whole purpose. And I also thank Matthew's channel to have hosted me today. And I hope they will be having enough time and also new episodes that will be interesting you. Thank you so much.